get blind to your death. That's where we are. Um, so we just finished up at Skull Canyon. Skull Canyon. And uh, my doctor prescribed uh, Skull Canyon to me zip lines uh, because of my herniated disc. And I gotta tell you, I mean, I'm a perfect example. It's fixed my back, I'm great. I feel like a million bucks. I recommend it. You only gotta go zip lining once a day if you have a herniated disc and it fixes the problem. So ask your doctor. This is going to be my review of Skull Canyon zip lines in Corona, California. I'm Foxy Sellers, and if Tall Tales and High Adventures is your thing, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel, click the like, and maybe even leave a comment or two. The safety precautions were, were definitely top tier. There's two separate riggings to the line, so if one fails, the other one will be a catch-all. Hey, feel? You ready? Feel safe? Feel scared? Rested? Fueled? Empty out your bladder? <laughs> Go ahead, give you guys a little rundown of what we have here. Okay, you want to take a look to your left and your right, you're going to see what's part of the original course. If you want to take a look a little higher up, you're going to see what's part of the uh, extreme and monster courses. And then if you want to take a look a little farther out, that single pole right there, that is that first line of the monster course. So for you for you thrill seekers, adventurers out there, I really recommend coming out and trying those out. Um, we did enter our jungle portion of the tour. Don't blink, it only lasts about 30 seconds, but you get occasional animals here and there. If you want to listen closely, you could probably hear some. So there's several courses. Uh, we did what was called the original course, which is made up of a 10 minute hike and then six zip lines. You're guided up the trail by three crew members. They have a lot of enthusiasm for their job, and you'll notice that they ha they appear to have fun all day, every day. So it, it looks like a great job just to have. The property was originally a tree nursery that they converted into a zipline park. There's a fish farm and all kinds of wildlife. I believe they said there were you know, lots and lots of deer sightings. Uh, however, you know, there's also the coyotes. Wild pigs, lizards, ra rabbits, raccoons, and rattlesnakes. They, they claim to have a low impact on the environment and they noted the company is very conservation conscious. So they are active in preserving the existing ecosystem and making sure there's little to no impact to wildlife habitat. One thing I did find, like, so we, so we did the, the original uh, course. We had a smile on our face the entire time. Like, you know, off the zip lines, on the zip lines, just the whole process itself. We were delighted all day. So there wasn't really like a, a frowning moment in the entire day. I'm not really afraid of heights. So I can't speak on respect to that aspect of it, but you never do feel like you're really high up and that's because your perspective is more positioned to be viewing all of the hills and, and, and outward. You're never, you're never really looking down.
Each zip line on this course is relatively tame for the original, but there's there's plenty of joy derived from these as you're as you're riding through it. Uh, if you're looking for something more extreme, I would recommend the monster course, which takes you all the way to the top. However, that does require a one hour hike. The course is reasonably priced. Each zip line is is a lot of fun. There's there's nothing too extreme. There's one called the extreme course, but um, they're all relatively suitable for anybody. Did you wear your pants? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's why I have the helmet. If I were to go again, I'm definitely doing the monster course. As you can see, it has much longer runs for thrill seekers like myself, so that's probably the way to go. Good thing you got a thick skull. Yeah. So in short, I do recommend the park. It's great for kids, family, adults. I mean, it's even be a great date. You can do a half day, or if you incorporate like the obstacle course, you can make a full day of it. It's a gorgeous drive out to the Santa Ana Mountains. So it's not going to disappoint you whatsoever. The headbangers ball, man. I want to thank you for watching on Foxy Sellers. So again, please click the subscribe if you enjoyed the video and you'll be notified when I make future videos like this. Feel free to like and comment below and I hope you have a great day. Thanks.